Good evening. This is the video newsletter for Buy Sell Short for Tuesday, November 27th. A down day today on Wall Street, but not really a, a surprise. And actually, a surprise it took this long. We had uh, the DC dump, as I've been calling it, uh, that I referred to to watch out for in the weekend video. We, you know, looking at the 15 minute chart, you can see. Starting a couple of three weeks ago, we started the fiscal cliff sell off. This is when the idiots in Congress were not on vacation and we saw a sell off, consolidation, sell off, consolidation, Thanksgiving vacation. Off to the races we go rally, consolidation, rally, consolidation. Well, they got back to business yesterday and the rhetoric started flying last night with Republicans saying they will hold 98% of the country hostage so that they can protect millionaires and billionaires as they say and Democrats saying stay away from our Medicare and Social Security and you know I was kind of surprised that the market held up this morning. It sort of shrugged off those comments for the most part. We were green and then we had Harry Reid come out and say it was disappointing that there was no headway at all. And that's when the selling began. Looking at the 15-minute chart, uh, we are oversold on a couple of the indicators. RSI and Stochastics are at the bottom. But we are breaking down from a little channel that's been in place over the last couple of days. So, I mean, it's all going to depend on what the spin from Washington is. We could see an entirely different story tomorrow. And what we're seeing is the typical DC gaming, you know, one side says one thing, one side said another, and then what actually ends up coming to pass is totally different. We expected this. We prepared for it this weekend, so it should come as zero surprise. Looking at the daily chart, I mean, we had a nice 500 plus point rally over the last week or so, we ran right up to the 200-day moving average. They got us up to the 13K level, and we've pulled back a bit. We're back down to the bottom or the top of the bullish falling wedge that we were able to break out of last week. RSI got halted at the 50 level. Stochastics, we are above 50. So, I mean, it's not time to start running for the exit. But as I mentioned in the Sunday video, you know, we're going to hang at the party. We're going to drink our beers. But we're going to stand one four foot outside the door, you know, ready to bail if the time comes. But, you know, we're seeing tremendous action in a lot of small cap stocks. We've seen a lot of action. We did get a little bit of a scare, you know, traders going, oh, crap, and running for the doors in the last hour today. But greed is a powerful thing. And, you know, I, there's a great uh, little video article on Yahoo Finance with how we could see sellers regret in this market. And by that I mean a great example would be Apple a week ago. Apple a week ago, they were running for the exits on this stock. They were selling it at 505. Today it hit 590. Tax sellers, oh boy, look at that. You screwed up. You know, there's one thing I will say with all this uh, stuff you hear, you know, stuff or articles and commentary, et cetera, et cetera, regarding the increasing taxes and how traders are avoiding trading because of taxes. You know, there's something I've said, and I've said it since day one of trading. If you have to pay taxes with trading stocks, you are in a good position. It means you are making money. You are making profits. Do not let taxes dictate how you trade. Simple as that. Trade. It's your living. Taxes are a cost of business for traders. Simple as that. As for the Russell, Russell bounced all the way back up to the resistance line of this bullish falling wedge. So, you know, we're at the 200-day moving average. We are at resistance levels on the major indices. A little bit of a pause, a little bit of a pullback is not unexpected at this stage so that's where we're at as for stock plays let's jump into some stock plays been a very very nice week MOTR has boomed for us over the last week it has run into resistance look at that at the 200 day moving average uh, taking some profits here trailing our stops higher is not a bad idea you know we could see a little retrace 
all the way back to the 20-day exponential or, you know, maybe back to that 50-day moving average where we can rinse, repeat, and try another uh, move higher into the next year. couple of new plays we got into INO. This stock has gotten beat over the head over the last three weeks. Two reasons for this. The overall downdraft in the market, we see this consolidation at the bottom over the last week. And there's a large, not an insider, but a large holder, individual holder that has been selling this stock, you know, a couple of hundred thousand shares here and there that, it, that has impacted the stock recently. But this stock, uh, they are expecting to release phase two trial data on two drugs this upcoming month into year end. Most biotech stocks are lucky if they've got one stock with data coming. We've got two indications with positive data perhaps coming uh, in the next couple of weeks. The stock is down 30% over the last three weeks, has consolidated nicely. We've got the 20-day and 200-day at 55, 50-day moving average at 61 cents. We've got RSI coming out of the basement. Positive MACD cross possibly within the next day. Stochastics under 20 is starting to curl up. This chart looks ready to rock and roll. Small cap biotech stocks have been on fire over the last couple of days. CPRX, which is one that we jumped into last week at 42 cents, that one hit 54 cents today for a nice 25% move. PPHM, which was in on the pop scan as a buy trigger today at 94 cents. This stock is up 100% in the last week. And their drug failed its drug trials uh, all the way up to the 200-day moving average. So small biotech stocks are popping left and right. ZLCS, this is one we jumped into yesterday at 59 cents. Our target was... 68 to 75 cents got as high as 74 cents today for a nice little 20 percent runner traders are moving into biotech stocks especially small cap biotech stocks and that's not really a surprise because biotech stocks are the quintessential speculative money play and we've been seeing some spec money start to move back into the market as traders get greedy couple to keep an eye on uh ANTH, which uh, beat us over the head in early November when it sold off. This one, too, has consolidated nicely at the 60 cent level. 73 cents, the 20 day exponential, makes for a nice little bounce target on this one. Uh, I'd be a buyer 65, 65, 65, 60 cents and under with 60 cent stops. 73, 80 cent plus targets. We're looking at a positive MACD cross. Stochastics in the basement, and this biotech stocks owes us big time. And you know, if a junky biotech stock like PPHM can run 100%, uh, this one can bounce back just as easy. HEB trying to break out of a symmetrical triangle formation here today. Uh, we got a positive MACD cross, stochastics trying to break up through 50. These guys are expected to update their drug in uh, two weeks, I believe. So these guys only have one drug and it's starting to run in anticipation of it. Imagine what our little I-O, I-N-O is going to do uh, with two indications. And there's not really a whole lot of chatter out there regarding uh, this biotech stock. I think that is going to change very, very quickly. Last but not least, S-O-M-X. Verse split bio, very nice consolidation over the last month. First target is the 50-day moving average at 184. RSI trying to break up through 50. And this is a biotech uh, reverse split, split play that could easily double on the right kind of news, the right kind of volume. Got a nice pop on it yesterday on the Seeking Alpha article. Uh, Little consolidation today, but it held above the 20-day exponential. What typically happens on plays like this, we get a spike, consolidation, and then the real move starts. So let's see if that real move starts tomorrow. So that's it for the video. You know, we're sort of hamstrung by the idiots in Washington. But, you know, that up, down, deal, no deal, rumor crap uh, that we talked about on the weekend video, 
it's just a lot of noise. It will pass. The market will move higher. We will profit from it. This is a great time of the year for small cap stocks. We're starting to see the momentum move into the biotech stocks. We've got some nicely set up charts, so we are, are in a good place. So that's it for the video. If you've got any questions, shoot me an email, feedback at buysellshort.com, and I will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Goodbye.